If you want to add a few fun items to your fall decor this year, Melissa Sobas from Joanne Fabrics and Crafts is here with some easy and fun craft projects. I love these. These are kind of unusual. They are. Yeah, some good ideas. First, these um, beautiful lanterns that you have here. Instead of just sticking a candle in it and being done with it, you've, you've embellished them beautifully. Yes. I love them a lot. So, yeah. um, and we've also got a beautiful frame over here. This is a, a unique way to display some fall leaves. Mm -hmm. You can get the kids involved with that too. You can use natural leaves in there too. Um, mm -hmm. But of course, we have a lot of nice, you know, decorative leaves in the store as well. Yeah, and that's something you can use year after year. Yeah. All right, how do we put this one together? All right, so you're just going to take an average picture frame. Mm -hmm. um, a couple options. You can do a natural finish like we have here, mm -hmm. or with this one, I've taken some a glitter spray just to kind of jazz it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. So you'll go ahead and spray that, let that dry. And then um, we have leaves, so you could use real ones or fake ones. Mm -hmm. um, I add a little bit of glitter to some of these, or you can also buy some pre-made ones if you want a little oh, extra so pretty, sparkle with the glitter. Of it. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. You'll take some twine. You can get some jewelry twine. Mm -hmm. um, you'll actually take a glue gun, and then adhere that to the back of the leaf. If you had glue in if your you glue had gun. If you glue, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and what happened to your glue? Well, I actually left it at home today. <laughs> Yeah, that, that happens. Live TV, oh, don't you love it? Only have 800 of them at home and yeah, no glue right. today. Oh, well, that's so okay. So then you'll actually take the glue gun and adhere that to the back of the picture frame. Okay. Now, if you're not going to put this flat on a wall, mm -hmm. um, you might want to go ahead and just take another leaf. So you'll have a leaf on both sides so it can kind of blow around. Oh, yeah. That's a good idea. Okay. And then we just, um, I adhered um, just some wire behind here and then made a bow with just some regular burlap. That is so simple. And as you said, kids could help do yeah. that. Uh, what an easy thing to do. Yeah, no, I bet you great. could change that up for Christmas, too, and hang Christmas Ornaments. balls. Yeah. yeah. That would be a great what idea. What fun. Okay, simple project. We're already done with that one. Now let's talk about what to do with these. Don't you love these lanterns? I do, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you could collect things outside if you wanted mm -hmm. to, but if you aren't lucky enough to have pine trees yep. and that kind of mm -hmm. thing, can you buy pine cones? Yes, we have a box of pine cones, and they also come with little decorative gourds and pumpkins in them and some little accent leaves. Mm -hmm. So what you want to do with this lantern here is that you want to build a base with the pine cones, okay. and then so you can kind of build around it. And then I have my uh, centerpiece here. So this is what we're going to be building around okay. here. So if you're not doing a candle, you can just do kind of yeah. the, the arrangement there. So obviously you'd want to take your glue gun with some glue. <laughs> right. And adhere that in there. And then you just want to kind of build around. And what I, when I did when I did that one, I went ahead and just kind of put things where I thought they would look good. Mm -hmm. And then went back and glued it. And the best thing are these little leaves because they'll kind of fill in the gaps then. Oh, that's a so good idea. So if you you know, can't get an extra gourd in there or something, you can use that to kind of fill that in. Mm -hmm. And if you were using that as a centerpiece, you'd want to probably walk all the way Very around well. it and, you know, look and make sure that you're not seeing the back of a leaf or something, yeah. you know, just to make sure that it looks good from all around the room. But as you said, you know, a candle would be great in that or just, uh, just the arrangement there. That's so nice. Do these come in different colors too? No. Um, well, actually, we do have some wood ones mm -hmm. um, and oh, some that's copper cool. ones yeah. yes, um, back in our uh, back of our store here. These were just made especially for fall this year for mm -hmm. us. Okay, what other fun fall things do you have in the store right now? Uh, well, right now we have um, decorative pumpkins. Um, so they're the funkins, so you can actually carve them out or you can actually decorate them um, to match with your fall decor. So you can take some spray paint if you like the copper tones, which are really popular right now. Mm -hmm. You can go ahead and spray those and add some glitter to those. Um, as well as with our, all of our candles, we've got a ton of holiday candles. So it's nice to kind of, you can build a little pieces with leaves around candles, around a base. Yeah, that's good. Do you have half pumpkins? I've seen those, you know, we as have, door hangers. Yeah, we have a we have a, a styrofoam ones. Mm -hmm. So you could use those yeah. to decorate your front door if you wanted to. Mm -hmm. How about classes? Are there any classes in fall decor? We don't um, offer any fall decor classes, um, but we will do demos on Saturdays. So if you wanted to come in and learn how to do this on Saturdays, we can come in and show you. Or if you're in that day, um, let us know that you're interested in something, and we can kind of give you some tips and tricks. Cool. Where can we find you? I'm at the Mount Julia location. Okay, so if you're in Mount Julia. Find Melissa. She can show you some great ideas. Thank you so much. Thank you. Some really fun things. You'll find all these supplies and details on all the projects at your local Joanne store.